Hi everybody, my name is Miss Ashley and I love to travel. For the last 10 years, I've been working on a cruise ship and traveling the world. And one of my favorite times to work on the cruise is actually Christmas time because I work with the children on board. So when I go, my friends and I get to dress up like elves and hang out with the children and play games and sing songs and do arts and crafts. And it's a lot of fun. The ship is decorated for Christmas with gingerbread houses and beautiful lights and trees and it's so pretty. Plus, I haven't been home in 10 years for Christmas. I've been traveling all over the world and I've been to Asia, the Caribbean, the Middle East, Australia, New Zealand, all over the place. So as you guys know, this year looks a little bit different. So I won't be traveling, I'll actually be home for Christmas. But I thought it would be cool if I'd made some videos for you guys and I could teach you about how children celebrate different holidays around the world. Because it's not just Christmas, there's also Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Santa Lucia Day, Las Posadas, and a lot more. So stay tuned for lots of learning about different cultures and different holidays. So with the help of my friends from around the world and my knowledge from my trips and the internet, of course, I have lots of different information to share with you so we can learn about different countries and how they celebrate holidays. But before we start, I think we need to make something that we can use throughout our journey around the world. What are some things that you need to travel? That's right. You definitely need your passport and a suitcase. So you guys are going to need one too. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually make a passport. And I'm going to send the links um, with this video for you or your teacher or your parents to print off so you can do one too. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to make a passport that looks something like this. So obviously you're going to put your name up here. So it would say Ashley's passport to Christmas around the world. And then when you open it up, there's going to be a lot of different pages to put a stamp on and to write some information that you can learn from the videos. So I put lots of different ones in here and then the back you can write what your favorite country is. Now, if you don't have a chance to print this one off, I have another option for you. All you need to do is get some construction paper. So I took one on the outside, um, whatever color you want, and then I've got some white ones in the middle. I think I've got, let's see, one, two, I've got three pieces in the inside and then one for the outside. You just fold them all in half, stick them all together, and then staple them. And there you go, you've got a passport. And I just wrote passport, holidays around the world, and then just added a little Christmas tree that I had. And then inside, you can also have an information page. You can put a picture here if you want, and you can put your name, where you're from, where you were born, and your birthday. So that will be something that we use throughout the videos. We're gonna add stamps to our passport and some information about the countries that we learn about. And then, to go with your passport, you're gonna get a set of stamps that you can cut out and put in there. I've already cut out the ones that I'm gonna share with you today. What I'm also gonna send you, if you would like to do one, is going to be this coloring page with children around the world celebrating Christmas. And after we have our passports, we need to have a suitcase. So I'm going to send something that looks like this. It is Merry Christmas around the world. So it has the flags of different countries, the names of different countries, and how they say Merry Christmas in their language. And this is something that you're gonna be able to use to make your suitcase. I'm gonna send you a colored version, or you can use the black and white one and then you can color the flags yourself. So here's what my suitcase looks like. It's actually made from a file folder. So you can um, pick a vanilla folder or you can pick any color you want. Hopefully you have one of these or you can get one. If not, I'm gonna show you another option. So once you get your manila folder or your file folder, you're going to cut out the top where it says Merry Christmas around the world or you can decorate it however you want. So I just put that in the center and then you're gonna get all these little flags 
And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna cut them out and we're gonna kinda put them around our suitcase as we go. So, then you're gonna need some handles for your suitcase. I've just used some ribbon that I had left over from something, so some black ribbon. You can use pipe cleaners if you want. Or if you happen to have a paper bag with handles, like a gift bag, or even a Christmas bag, you could actually use the bag itself as a suitcase. Or if you want to, you can cut the handles off and attach it to your folder. So once you've got the outside done and the handles, we're gonna open it up. And I've actually attached, this is just a piece of construction paper that I taped and glued just around the edges so you can make a little pocket. So we can put some of our papers and our passports in the pocket. And then I'm going to send to you a map that you can use inside your suitcase. And as we go along, we're gonna color different countries that we learn about. All right, so if you don't have the folder available, this is super easy to do. This is just two pieces of construction paper. You can use cardstock or just regular paper if you want. And all I did was put them together and then I put some clear packing tape right down the center and taped them together. And then I just used the printout again, like I showed you. You can add your ribbon as the handles and you can add a pocket inside or you could add some Ziploc bags and then you can have little sections in there to put things in. What we're gonna do is, each time I tell you about a different country, um, not all of them, but the ones that we have stamps for and stickers for, we're gonna add something to our passport and our suitcase. Today, I'm gonna start you off with two countries, but before we add our stamps and our sticker to our passport and our suitcase, I'm going to show you two pictures that include the flags of these countries because I wanna see if you can guess where we're gonna to travel to today. Ready? Here they are. All right, what do you think? Does anybody have a guess? Ah, okay. Good guesses, I like those. I think I heard some of the right answers. All right, so we're gonna start with Australia. And in Australia, they say Merry Christmas or sometimes they say Happy Christmas. So that's what the flag looks like. And we're also gonna talk about New Zealand today. So before we get started, let's go ahead and add our stamps to our passport and our stickers to our suitcase. So when you get all your little flags, I'm gonna use the colored version, but you can use the black and white one if you wanna color it yourself. And I'm gonna get my suitcase and my glue stick. I'm just gonna put some glue on there. And then you can put it anywhere you like. So there's, there we go. There's my first one. And then I don't have one from New Zealand, sorry. But as we go along, we're gonna add some more stickers. And then I'm gonna go back to my passport. And when you open it up, the page says, the country we visited today was, and you can write Australia or New Zealand, and this is where your stamps come in. So this is the one that I'm gonna send to you. And I've cut out New Zealand and Australia already. So here's New Zealand. And here's Australia. So let me put those in here. I'm gonna start with Australia. And then I'm gonna put New Zealand. So there we go. I've got Australia. And I've got New Zealand. And before I go too far, I'm gonna show you my actual passport. It has all kinds of stamps. There we go. If you've never seen one before, this is what my passport looks like. All kinds of stamps from all over the place. So that's what yours will look like too. Before we find out how they celebrate Christmas in Australia and New Zealand, 
I thought I'd show you my globe so we can make sure we know where they are on the map. All right, so first of all, let's figure out where we are. So here's North America. And let's see, you might be watching this from a different place, but I'm in Tennessee. So I'm about right here. There we go, it's hard to see. And then if you go around, we're gonna go on the other side of the world. And, oops, did I have it? Aha, there it is. This pink one is Australia. And this one is um, Tasmania, so it's part of Australia. But over here, this purple one is New Zealand. So New Zealand is much smaller than Australia, but there they are. So there's Australia. And if I go back this way, you can see North America. So as you can see, they're pretty far apart. I've actually flown there a couple times and um, I took a plane from Tennessee to California and then I flew from um, Los Angeles, California, all the way over to Sydney, Australia, and it took 16 hours in an airplane. So it is pretty far because it's on the other side of the world. Now you know where it is. And now, before we move on, you can actually open up your suitcase and we're going to color in the map. So, can you guys find Australia, New Zealand on the map? That's right. So this is where we are over in the United States. And then way over here is Australia and New Zealand. So oh, I've got a purple crayon here. So I'm just going to, whoop, I'm gonna color in Australia and New Zealand. You can use whatever color you want. So that way you know where we've been today or where we're going today. Don't forget the little island underneath um, Australia. It's Tasmania. If you've heard of Tasmania devils, that's where they are. Yes, they are a real thing, not just a cartoon. Okay, there we go. So now I've got, I didn't really color that all that great, but there is Australia and New Zealand. So when they celebrate Christmas, there's a lot of similarities they, to what we're used to. They use um, kind of the same decorations. They have stockings, they have wreaths, they have Christmas trees, but there are some major differences because they're on the other side of the world. It is actually summertime during their Christmas season. So we all think of being bundled up and being cold and playing in the snow and they're outside and sometimes they're going to the beach and um, playing in the sand. And also we think of Santa, um, you know, in a heavy coat and boots cause he's gonna be in the snow. And we think of Santa as being pulled by reindeer, right? Not in Australia. When he gets to Australia, they see him as putting on swim trunks and surfing, and instead of being pulled by reindeer, he's pulled by kangaroo and Santa Claus hats. Here's a little cartoon for you. So that's what Australians think of Santa Claus. And some of my fact cards here in Australia, Christmas happens in the summer. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later, but also in Australia, they make a special dessert called pavlova made of cream and fruit. There's a picture of that. And then in New Zealand, people go camping and to the beach since Christmas occurs in the summer. I bet some of you would like that, having Christmas at the beach. So they spend a lot of time outdoors because it's nice and hot outside, and they like to spend time by the grill or the barbecue, and they call it the barbie. So a lot of times during Christmas Day, the families will get together and eat outside um, around the barbecue. And at night, they like to do caroling by candlelight. In New Zealand, you might see Santa Claus in jandals and shorts, or um, that's what they call flip-flops. And in some children's stockings in New Zealand, 
they might get water balloons and um, water guns and they might have a water fight outside on Christmas Day. They also like to play cricket with their families in the backyard. Not the bug, the game cricket, kind of like baseball. And they might be found at the beach building sandmen instead of snowmen. There's also in New Zealand, they have Christmas trees like we see here, but they have something called their Christmas tree because during the Christmas season, it has red flowers that bloom. And so it's a red and green tree and it only blooms at Christmas time. And I've actually seen some of these trees. They're really pretty. And they're called, I hope I'm saying this right. They're called Poyutukawa, Poyutukawa trees. And here are some pictures of those trees. Now I want to show you a few of my pictures from Australia during the Christmas season or the holiday season. And you're going to see um, uh, a sand sculpture that I saw when I went to the beach there. And then um, some Christmas decorations from Australia. And also one of the pictures I'm going to show you is actually I'm standing in my uniform because I'm on the cruise ship. And then in the background behind me, you can see the Sydney Opera House. Then I have several pictures from something that I've seen, I guess twice now when I've been um, to Sydney. The night before I get on the cruise ship, I get to spend the night in Sydney. So I've gone to this church there um, that everybody gathers outside of the church. And on the side of the building, they project um, a little light show or kind of a movie on the side of the, the church. So the one that I saw was really cool because they show... Um, a crowd of people shuffling along and it's all black and white and they're all on their phones shuffling busy with life not kind of noticing around them and then there's this little girl that's colorful so she comes by and she kind of taps somebody on the shoulder and she starts adding color and people get off their phones and actually see the beauty all around them so it was a show kind of just to show people that we need to kind of get off our electronics sometimes and see the beauty all around us. So it was a really neat show to see. So those are the, some of the pictures that you're gonna see with the side of the church. Now, um, earlier I said that Australians like to um, do carols by candlelight. Um, one of the songs that they might sing if they're caroling is Jingle Bells, but it is not the same version as you would recognize because that's talking about dashing through the snow and there's no snow in Australia during um, Christmas because it's super, super hot. So they have their own Australian version of Jingle Bells. One year when I was on the cruise ship, we were in Australia and we have mostly Australian families cruising with us. So we brought several of the kids on the stage with us and we had to sing the Australian version of Jingle Bells, which was very weird because I didn't really know it. So I had to learn it and thank goodness we had the words. So I'm going to sing the Australian version of Jingle Bells for you, but I have to explain a few of the words because otherwise it won't make sense to you. So if you hear me singing about a Holden Ute, that just means a truck, like a small pickup truck. This was a car made in Australia, and it was actually a car that kind of looked like a truck on the background, eh, on the back of it. But they just use a Ute to describe a truck. So an Esky is a cooler, an ice chest, somewhere where you'd put ice or your drinks in the summertime. And um, a boot is the trunk 
or the back of the truck. So they're going to talk about putting the esky in the boot. So putting the cooler in the trunk. A Kelpie is a type of Australian dog. Then you're going to hear me say putting on my singlet shorts and thong. That means a singlet is kind of like a tank top that you would wear in the summertime. And thongs are flip-flops in Australia. And there's one more. Let's see. There's talking about a swaggy in the song and that means um, somebody who uh, is homeless and that's kind of the same as around the world that we try to help the less fortunate the less fortunate during the Christmas season so that's part of the song as well so hopefully this will make a little bit more sense to you feel free to sing along if you get the chorus with me <laughs> but here is Australian Jingle Bells Dashing through the bush in a rusty holding you, kicking up the dust, esky in the boot, Kelpie by my side, singing Christmas songs. It's summertime and I'm in my singlet shorts and thongs. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Christmas in Australia on a scorching summer day. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, Christmas time is beaut. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a rusty Holden ute. Engine's getting hot, we dodge the kangaroo. The swaggy climbs aboard, he is welcome to. All the family's there, sitting by the pool. Christmas day, the Aussie way, by the barbecue. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Christmas in Australia on a scorching summer's day. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, Christmas time is beaut. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a rusty holding ute. There we go. So, if you ever meet a child from Australia, now you guys can sing a Christmas song together. <laughs> that one sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? Instead of hearing about what Christmas was like from me, I thought you'd like to hear it from someone who actually lives in Australia. My friend Claire is in Australia and she's here to tell you a little bit about her Christmas. Now, if you're watching this during the day, it's gonna be a nighttime for Claire because she's kind of like living in the future. Because Australia is on the other side of the world, when it's our daytime, they're already in tomorrow. <laughs> so, take it away, Claire. Merry Christmas, everyone. Giving a massive shout out from my kitchen table. <laughs> uh, I would show you outside, but it's dark, so you can't actually see what's happening out there. A um, couple of things about Christmas in Australia. Uh, it's hot, which is why I look a little bit red, because it is summer, and we sometimes get up to 40 degrees, which is uh, over 100, I think, in Fahrenheit. Um, we have lots of really delicious desserts, like pavlova is a really big one at Christmas, and we also have a lot of fruit salads and stone fruits, like uh, peaches and nectarines and plums and light cheese. Light cheese are amazing. They're not lychees, they're light cheese, and they're amazing and so delicious, and mangoes. Mangoes is the other one. So those are our big, our big fruits that we have for dessert. Uh, on Christmas and a lot of the stuff we have is cold seafood like prawns uh, or shrimp as you would say and we shell a lot of those and eat them and they're super delicious and fresh have a lot of steaks a lot of sausages sometimes we do uh, we have like a smoked ham like a really big piece of ham and we slice that up and you have that with different um, like sauces and maybe applesauce on your ham that's really yummy uh, lots, lots of very chill sorts of things like that's why the cold ham it's not hot it's cold and the cold prawns because you want stuff that's cold and watermelon watermelon is really big at Christmas as well because a lot of the time you're outside and you might be having a barbecue down by the, the ocean or a river and a lot of our parks actually have outdoor barbecue spaces where you can set up and hang out with your family and Boxing Day we normally maybe hit some sails or hit the beach and go swimming and hang out it's amazing but I wanted to you know if you want to send me some of your cold Christmas weather I'll take it it's hot it's very very hot here but wishing everyone um, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year see you later bye now in Claire's video, she talks about pavlova, 
which is a dessert that's popular in Australia and New Zealand. And I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of what it looks like. It's kind of like meringue and um, like whipped cream and then different fruit on top. And they like to have that during the Christmas season. And also you heard her say something about, something about Boxing Day. That's celebrated in um, not just Australia, um, probably New Zealand, Canada, and England. But we're going to talk about that another day. But um, that's why she talks about Boxing Day. It's the holiday, the day after Christmas. All right, so we've made our passport. Um, we put our stamps in. You can now add some information that you learned about Australia and New Zealand. And um, you can put any of your papers or things in your suitcase. And before I go, I want to show you some ornaments that I bought in Australia, and I'm going to add it to my tree. So as we move along through the world, we're going to add more um, ornaments to the tree. So the ones I have for you today are the Sydney Harbor Bridge. I'll put that on my tree. I have the Sydney Opera House. That's the one you saw from my pictures. And this one is a little wooden kangaroo. And my last one is a little, oops, that's back sign, a little koala with a heart. And I showed you my actual passport, but I actually found a little passport in a store and it's Santa's passport. There we go, you can see it. And it's got all kinds of cool stamps, just like you guys are gonna have. So I'll add this one to the tree as well. All right, so if you come back again for another one of my videos, we're going to learn about more countries around the world and how they celebrate holidays. And we'll add some more ornaments to the tree and we'll add some more stamps and um, stickers to your passport and your suitcase. So until next time, I'm Miss Ashley. Bye.